Rule number one, carefully hide your total incompetence. I take in significant things and I discuss them as if they're significant. And I believe that exploring the significance of the insignificant is in itself significant. Talking about the significance of the passage of time. Elon Musk retweeted the most accurate Kamala Harris ad there is on the internets. And Gavin Newsom is getting triggered over it. So in this video, we're gonna break it all down. Welcome back to the Devory Darkens show. I am Devory Darkens. You already know what to do. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel so we get this video out to more people like you and me. Elon Musk, the person who spent $44 billion on Twitter. I mean, this guy always has something up his sleeve that makes me laugh, makes me smile. Very grateful for him because I do believe that is probably the only platform out there where you can literally say whatever you want. And it doesn't matter what political side you're on. You could be on the left. You could be on the right. You could be extra progressive. You could be alt right. It doesn't matter. Free speech. Right. And in saying that, there was an ad that went out that was generated by AI about Kamala Harris. It's like a campaign ad for her presidential run. And he retweeted it. And I actually think it's hilarious. So what we're going to do is watch it first and then talk about it. Let's play that video. I, Kamal Harris, and your Democrat candidate for president because Joe Biden finally exposed his senility at the debate. Thanks, Joe. I was selected because I am the ultimate diversity hire. I'm both a woman and a person of color. So if you criticize anything I say, you're both sexist and racist. I may not know the first thing about running the country, but remember, that's a good thing if you're a deep state puppet. I had four years under the tutelage of the ultimate deep state puppet, a wonderful mentor, Joe Biden. Joe taught me rule number one, carefully hide your total incompetence. I take in significant things and I discuss them as if they're significant. And I believe that exploring the significance of the insignificant is in itself significant. Talking about the significance of the passage of time, right? The significance of the passage of time. So when you think about it, there is great significance to the passage of time, and there is such great significance to the passage of time. Another trick is trying to sound black. I pretend to celebrate Kwanzaa, and in my speeches, I always do my best Barack Obama impression. So hear me when I say, I know Donald Trump's type. And okay, look, maybe my work addressing the root causes of the border crisis were catastrophic, but my knowledge of international politics is truly shocking. The United States shares a very important relationship, which is an alliance with the Republic of North Korea. It is an alliance that is strong and enduring. And just remember, when voting this November, it is important to see what can be unburdened by what has been. And by what has been, I mean, Joe Biden. You think the country went to sh over the past four years? You ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> now that is a great ad. I actually believe that is much more accurate than the ads that her campaign has been putting out. And listen, at the end of the day, this is a parody video. It's a joke. Let's not take this too seriously. If they released one, which I know they did on President Trump, listen, I'm not getting triggered over that i don't have you know panties in a bunch type of thing over any of that stuff uh this is really funny but it's also true if you really listen to it and so there's just a couple of points i want to make and then we'll get into the back and forth with elon musk and gavin nuisance point number one criticism equals sexism in today's world especially if you criticize a woman this is absolutely true if we really were honest with women as men, they would call us sexist. Point number two, if you reject or criticize somebody, it's racism. That's exactly where we are today, right? If I criticize or I try to hold you accountable and you are black, that's racist. And point number three, how do you become the most competent person? By hiding your incompetence. This is exactly what the Democrats are all about. They've been incompetent the last three and a half years. They have no receipts to show how they've improved your life or my life or anybody's life in that regard. But hey, their presidency has been the best in history. You know, President Biden's 
his accomplishments are unmatched. You know, Vice President Harris, even though she wasn't in charge of the border, has done everything she could to improve the border. Yes, we get it. You guys are a bunch of gaslighters. Got it, got it, got it. So that leads to another gaslighter, which is Gavin Newsom, who did not appreciate the fact that Elon Musk retweeted this ad. So let's take a look at what they said. So before we get into the back and forth, let's give some credit where credit is due. This video was created by uh, this gentleman called the Reagan. And um, if we go to it, Mr. Reagan, correction, he's on X as Mr. Reagan. So go ahead and follow him, Mr. Reagan USO, credit where credit is due. Now, he posted this video back on July 26th, Dave Rumid and other conservatives obviously loved it. And um, then uh, Elon Musk retweeted it saying this is amazing. Obviously it is, again, it's really funny. And then the Harris campaign came back and said this, we believe the American people want the real freedom, opportunity and security Vice President Harris is offering, not the fake manipulated lies of Elon Musk and Donald Trump. This is what they do. What they accuse us of is what they are doing in front of your face. They are fake. They are manipulative. We know this, right? We just saw them literally try to erase the internet that has anything to do with Kamala Harris in charge of the border. Come on. Manipulation times 1,000. They are fake. We know this. They say, oh, President Biden, sharp as a tack. Guy shows up to the debate stage looking like he just left an old folks home. Come on, man. But wait a minute. She's offering freedom, opportunity, and security. Isn't that what President Trump gave us four years ago before COVID? Didn't we have that? Oh, or did we just forget? Or are we too in our feelings because what the media is telling us and how we should be scared of him? Wake up, people. But hey, you still got people like Gavin Newsom out there pushing that type of rhetoric. So let's look at what he said. He says, manipulating a voice in an ad like this one should be illegal. There we go again. I'll be signing a bill in a matter of weeks to make sure it is. This is what the Democrats do. They like to censor free speech. You have to understand something. 20 years ago, censoring free speech was a conservative thing. It was a Republican thing, not a Democrat thing. A Democrat from 20 years ago would be considered a conservative in today's world. That's the bigger picture here of what's going on. But hey, no one really wants to talk about that. But obviously, Gavin Newsom, you know, he gets triggered over this stuff. We already know. Um, and he's not afraid to say how he really feels. Kudos to him. So sign that bill in a matter of weeks. And by the way, I live in California, so we're not going to be able to do anything about it. If you guys don't live in California and you want to know how are people who live in California allow the governor to get away with this, it's because we are not given an option to vote on it. That's why. I mean, most of the government in California is Democrat. I was just telling my wife today, this 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 state is absolutely a, a, just a conflict of interest. There's zero balance. And they will not. Th this won't be a thing. Hey, let's go ahead and put it on the ballot in November and then we'll let the citizens decide. No, he's just going to sign it. But I don't think he's going to go very far with it because it's a free speech thing. Which leads us to the response that Elon Musk gave him, which I think is spot on. So here it is. Elon Musk says, I checked with the renowned world authority professor, suck on these nuts. And he said, parody is legal in America. <laughs> Come on, man. That's free speech 101, right? I just think I just think that that's great. That That is exactly what Gavin Newsom deserves. There's no question about it. You know, I just <laughs> I mean, listen. Free speech is so important because how do we learn how to get better? How do we learn how to live with each other if we're not allowed to say what we think? And just because what I say, even if it hurts your feelings, doesn't make it illegal. Right. I'm not breaking the law. And so what is what, what does Gavin Newsom want to do? He wants to change the laws. That's what the Democrats do. They're so upset with the Supreme Court. What do they want to do? Change the laws. But they won't change those laws against themselves. Right. They, they won't come out and say, hey, if you're a senator or if you serve in Congress, you can only serve eight years total. That's it. You're out of the government, just like 
the president of the United States. No, they won't do that. But they will try to limit the Supreme Court justices. You see, the Democrats, they're so hypocritical, right? What they complain about is exactly what they do. They complain about censoring free speech, but they censor it. They complain about freedoms, but they're continuing to pass laws that violate our freedoms, like parental rights, like free speech, colluding with the social media platforms. Now Gavin Newsom wants to pass a law banning parody videos. But, oh, wait a minute. President Trump is a dictator, though. Oh, got it. Got it. You see? You see how it works? So as I wrap up this video, I want to say this to you. Listen, it's okay to laugh. It's okay to go out there and say how you think and how you feel. Now, I do believe in being tactful, right? Because you got to pick your battles. And Elon Musk owns this platform. So he chose the correct battle. And there's nothing Gavin Newsom can really do. That's why President Trump went and made his own social media platform, because you can't ban him. That's a very smart person. Right? So, I mean, I get it. They're triggered. But that ad was absolutely spot on. Absolutely spot on. And that's my mindset about this. What about yours? What do you think about the ad? Did you see it? Go back, rewatch it. Tell me what your thoughts are. Uh, what do you think about Gavin Newsom's uh, response? Clearly, he's triggered over it. But more importantly, what do you think about Elon Musk's response and how funny it was? Anyways, answer this all and more in the comment section below. Thank you for checking out the video today. Stay grateful, stay strong, and stay true. Peace.